Hello everybody, welcome back to Bubba's Cooking. And today for you, I'll be making a twice baked butternut squash. So for this recipe, it requires a medium sized butternut squash, one medium sized yellow or white onion, six to eight slices of bacon, four ounces of cream cheese, two tablespoons of sour cream or Greek yogurt, one cup of panko breadcrumbs, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, and make sure that it's the real Parmesan cheese or Parmigiano Reggiano because it has more of a creamy flavor and not of a salty flavor. So make sure it's the good quality, high quality Parmesan cheese. And a half a pack of ranch seasoning. So if you like my recipes, please don't hesitate and like and subscribe. And also, I have a website, www.bubbuscooking.com, and we'll have all my information for my recipes, uh, my emails, and plus more. So now, what I will do, I will cut my butternut squash in half. Things giving me problems. <laughs> I was coming in this like I, I knew what I was doing. Actually, I know what I'm doing. I'm just saying. It was just like a little. <laughs> Woo! Butternut squash is making me work for it, making me burn some calories. <laughs> Good lord. Just break it. Okay. Yes. I'm back. Yay, you missed me. So I'm just gonna scrape out the seeds in the butternut squash. So now that I got my seeds out of the butternut squash, I will now wrap this in aluminum foil. And it's very important to face it right side down or cut side down, sorry, cut side down. Now the reason why I'm wrapping this in an aluminum foil is because I want it to steam, I don't want it to roast. So I will place this in the oven at 450 for about 50 minutes, okay? That will be the first step. So this goes in the oven at 450 for about 50 minutes. So while that is in the oven, um, I have my six slices of bacon that's uh, been diced, and then I diced up a half of an onion. I will let this go on the stove, and then when this is all done, I'll be ready to set it up for you. So while the butternut squash is in the oven, I will go ahead and cook my bacon and onions in the same pan, okay? I have it at a medium heat. So have y'all followed me yet on Instagram? Mm, let's hope so. If not, go to instagram.com slash Bubba's Cooking. Also, if you have any suggestions or have any concerns or questions about recipes, please don't hesitate and write me an email at eddie at Bubba's Cooking.com. All right, so now I will strain this and I will separate the oil and uh, the product. Also, it's very important to keep your bacon grease or oil. You can always use it to flavor another recipe. And especially with this onion, it gives a lot more flavor. So you can add it to your collard greens, to your cornbread, uh, to even your pasta or chicken. Whatever you would like to use your bacon grease for, use it for an ingredient. Promise me, you won't regret it. All right, y'all, so it's been 50 minutes. It, so let me take it out of the oven, okay? All right, y'all. Fresh and hot at the oven. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna let these cool for about five minutes and then I will uncover it. And then while that's being taken care of, okay, I will turn the temperature down to 425, okay? Because we need it so we can do the second bake. That's why it's called twice bake. So I put it on the cutting board and I'm gonna unwrap it from the aluminum foil so that it can cool down a lot faster, okay? So what I would do is I'm gonna get this out of the way because it's really hot and I will unwrap that. All right, so this is gonna be very hot. So be careful everyone, okay? Woo, do you see that steam? I'm just gonna uncover it just so it can let some of that steam out. All right. All right, y'all, so I let this rest for about five minutes, and I will go ahead and scrape both of these out. Now, it's important to leave like a little bit, um, like one fourth inch of the, of the meat, of the butternut squash, okay? Just so that it won't collapse when you bake it in the oven again. <whistles> 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 
All right, y'all, so now it's time for the delicious part. This is the bacon and the onions that I cooked earlier, so I'm gonna add all this to it. That was loud. All right, I'm gonna add um, four ounces of cream cheese. Get that in there so it can heat up. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of sour cream, but you can also use um, natural yogurt. So no flavored yogurt, original yogurt, okay? And I'm gonna add one cup of panko breadcrumbs for two reasons. One is to absorb some of the moisture and the second, I like it for the crunch. But it's optional, you don't have to use it, but I'm using it for this recipe. And I'm also going to be using about half a cup of Parmesan, good quality Parmesan, so Parmesan Reggiano. It will kind of stretch just a little bit. That's what you want. And the last thing is I will add some ranch seasoning. I will add half of a packet. So I'll mix this up, and then I'll place it back inside of the butternut squash. Y'all, this smells freaking amazing. Ugh. It smells like a baked potato, a loaded baked potato. Ugh, that's exactly what it smells like. I love baked potatoes, and I love this butternut squash, so. You wanna make sure this is well mixed together. You'll get all the flavors in each bite, so. <laughs> all right, so I'm put this to the side. And now this next step is optional. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. To me, it adds more of a crunch, okay? This is half a cup of panko breadcrumbs, and I'm gonna be using about one fourth cup of Parmesan Reggiano. I'm just gonna mix. We will add the filling back. So now we will add the filling back to the butternut squash skin, okay? And I lined it up like this so y'all can see so that it can actually fit on both. All right, so now I'm gonna put this panko breadcrumbs and um, Parmesan on top, okay? Just so I can give some color and also some crunch. And what I would do now, I would just get some olive oil and just drizzle the top a little bit. This ain't much olive oil. All right, so I'm placing this back in the oven at 425 for roughly around eight to 10 minutes or until it's golden brown on top, okay? And heat it thoroughly through the butternut squash, the filling. So, all right, y'all, it's ready! <laughs> and look at this beautiful color. So I might have to get it out with probably tongs and a spatula. So let's see if I can attempt this. All right, you guys, let's go. <laughs> All right, bringing this beautiful thing to the plate. And for color, I'm just gonna use some dried parsley. Just for color, because parsley doesn't have a taste to me. So, woo! Look how beautiful. Mm, sugar! I have to taste this one, okay? Because, uh, it's amazing. Y'all look, can y'all see that? Me making a mess? Yes, you can. But, ah, uh, look at that. Mm. Y'all, that was amazing. Seriously, y'all should try this recipe. I kid you not, I promise you, you will not regret it. Thank y'all for watching this video. I hope y'all please like this video and also subscribe. And also, try this recipe. Come on now. So, thank y'all very much for watching this. Come back and see me. Bye.